In this video, we'll show you how to make any block into any color using the Trackmania Mesh Modeler. So by default, when we place one of these blocks, uh, it actually will go into macro block mode and extend down to the ground. And this one actually doesn't have a bottom to it, as you can see, uh, because it connects to the stadium grass. So we'll, we'll actually place this one in ghost block mode uh, so we can create a nice item with it. And this one, actually, we have some default colors here. So white, green, blue, red, and black. So those are always nice to use. But if we want to make something like pink or purple or orange, then we're going to have to use the mesh modeler for it. So we can go ahead and go to item mode and then click on this right arrow where it says modes. So we can get to this icon on the right that says create new item from selected block. So we'll click on this icon and then we'll go ahead and click on the block. Uh, so from here we can go into the mesh. So there's a little gear next to the word mesh and this will let us select any surface. Um, and so you can, you can click on it or you can double click. Hold, if you hold control, you can select multiple sides. Uh, so maybe we can do, uh, I think, okay, there we go. So we can hold control select each side and you can see they're kind of hovering and then we'll click on this material so it's the paint can down in the bottom and now we can select which material we want to apply to the sides of this block so i'm going to go ahead and go to page 13. so around 12 and 13 we have all of these custom materials so we have custom bricks concrete uh, dirt glass grass ice metal painted plastic etc rough wood rock, um, snow, and sand. And so we're going to use the custom plastic. And this will actually uh, apply the plastic physics to it as well. So if you bump into it while you're driving, you're going to bounce off of it. So you can select any one you want. Uh, you can select any color you want. So let's make this one like a, a purple. And you just click Apply Material to Selection. Uh, so there we go. So now we can go ahead and change the top and bottom. Let's make them orange. So we'll just select on those two, like select one, hold control, and then go select the bottom one. And so maybe this would be good for like a Halloween map or something. So now that we've changed the colors, go ahead and hit save. You can enter what item, an item name for it. So we'll just say orange and purple block dot item dot GBX. So GBX is the uh, item extension format, which you've probably seen on TMX. So we'll go and click this back uh, button in the bottom left to leave the editor. From here, we can select this plus next to icon and click on one of these, um, just select which angle you want the icon from. And so that'll give us a nice item icon. And then we also want to do the placement parameters. So by default, these blocks are 32 by 32 and they're eight meters tall. So we'll select the, the fly step and the grid vertical size to eight and then the horizontal size to 32. So this will make it easier for us to place a block on grid. Go ahead and hit save. So that saves our item. We'll overwrite it. Um, and now we have an orange and purple block. Thanks everybody for watching.